PBR is basically custom materials. It's currently on beta so, if you want to enable, go to file, beta features and then advanced surface apparent textures. Once you found it, tick that tick box and click save. It'll ask you to restart Roblox Studio. Now, we need to add a mesh part, because it only works with mesh parts. You can add it with doing this. We will resize it, and we will add an object in it called surface apparents. These are the properties of it. In alpha mode property, overlay will apply the surface apparents on the mesh, without respecting transparent parts of the mesh. But if you enable transparent, surface apparents won't show up on transparent parts of the mesh. We will use overlay, because it's only a square. Note before continuing, using this drop down menu will throw an error for now, but it'll be okay later on. If you don't want to get this error, go to Game Explorer or Toolbox and copy its ID. Color map is basically about how will it look. If you select a wrong image, you won't get the expected results. Normal map modifies the lighting of the surface. It's actually really complicated if you'll create one yourself, so I'm not going to dive deep on this for this video. Roughness is about lighting too. It determines the apparent roughness across the surface. Reflections on smooth surfaces are sharp and concentrated. Reflections on rough surfaces are more blurry and dispersed. Metalness determines which parts will be metal or non-metal. It's a bit detailed, so you shall check this from the link in the description. Now we have a part with a tile texture. If you are using a free PBR texture file, property names won't 100% match with the image names. You can leave blank some of them, or try them on mesh for getting the best look. This is still kind of a texture so be careful when sizing it. Inappropriate sizing can cause texture to look squished or extended. Let's create one more with explaining common mistakes. If you select the wrong color map, texture will have a different color. You can't use this on any other thing other than a mesh part. You can use this with your imported objects which was made by a 3D modeling software. This is still in beta for the time this video is released. That means, these textures won't show up in your game currently. I couldn't upload an image larger than 30 megabytes, but I'm not sure if it's only me or everyone. It just throws an error. So if you'll download one, you shall prefer 2K textures maximum. This is how it looks in game. I use textures from a site called Texture Haven and link is in the description. That was it for this video. Hope you understood, see you in another one.